YouTubers. Welcome to Whole Pole Sunshine Coast Model Railway Channel. It's Whole Pole speaking. Welcome to part four of my A4 collection and speed trials. Now we've got quite a bit to get through, um, but before we start, just very quickly, I'd remind you that I'm trying to film, um, set the controller and um, talk all at the same time. So if some of the shots are a bit shaky, I do apologize. Well, here we have uh, the World Speed Steam record holder herself, Mallard, uh, Hornby version, body drive, early crest. Uh, I can't find out the number for it because Ramses haven't put out a catalogue for some time. I've searched for it on the internet, but I can tell you it was separated from a Northumbrian um, train box set. So that's about all I can tell you. She's fairly recent, I think. Um, so without more ado, let's get on with it. Fever. Well, our second day for today is one of the uh, Hornby's latest releases of Mallard in the experimental purple, is that purple livery? Uh, I do know she's reference number R3737. So she's a 2020 model. And uh, we'll see how she goes. Um, the green mallard, well, she only could only do 94 miles an hour in double O gauge speed. So we'll see if this one does any better. Beautiful model by Hornby. And uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, Mallard, let's go. Speed run. Okay, the last of our DC locomotives in the A4 class collection is 4488 Kingfisher. Body drive, LNER green, and she's a Bartman model but she does not appear in the uh, Ramses catalogue at all. Now I bought this from a table sale uh, of the British Railway Modelers of Australia and I'd say she's been renumbered and renamed. Very nice model. I had a little bit of trouble getting her to go properly. Uh, she was very slow running uh, and then part of the valve gear collapsed on one side um, you can't see it because of the valances. Um, so I was able to uh, super glue it back together again and she is running much better now. Although what sort of speed she'll be able to do, I don't know. Uh, they've only ever made one LNER 
Green A4 to my knowledge. So that was uh, 4482 Golden Eagle. The reference number is 31956. So uh, I don't know. Um, it's hard to tell with the transfers whether the whole lot's been changed or whether they're just, just the last digit. Hard to say. But anyway, we'll see how she performs. That's a Barkman Kingfisher uh, in LNER Green. Okay, take her away. Speed run. Okay, folks, uh, the first of our DCC models. Uh, is one I bought off a very good model railway made of mine and uh, it's number 2512 Silver Fox it's a Barkman model uh, but it's been fitted with tender pickups via a plug which I'll quickly show you before we get running with it so this is the first of uh, two DCC models the Dapper one I've held over until we do the final um, version of this series which includes a runoff of the top three um, I doubt whether the Dapol one will be in that but anyway so uh, just to keep the time level down if we can I'll just quickly show you that plug okay you can just see the plug there so this uh, this particular Bartman A4 has got tender pickups Folks, uh, just quickly, folks, before she does her speed run, I expect her, as you've those couple of clips there, you've noticed that clicking noise. Now, I'm not sure what that is, it could be the valve gear. Um, I might have to take the body off, but we'll let her do her speed run. Hopefully, no damage will be done to the loco. She seems to be running pretty freely apart from that. Okay, let's see what speed she can attain. There's a quick shot of the uh, train crew of the loco crew there of 2512. Uh, the only thing wrong with that as far as I can see, and I didn't fit them, I got an idea that the A4s are driven from the left hand side. From my memories of them from King's Cross I can always remember the uh, the driver being on the left hand side with the regulator. Um, I could be wrong but uh, in that case he's sitting in the wrong seat there. <laughs> Thanks folks. Speed run. Okay, the last A4 for this uh, part four is a Hornby product and it's the 60019 with the late crest body in the, uh, sorry, motor in the body, uh, 60019 bittern. 
Now I was in two minds as to whether to include the uh, extra tender because it is quite heavy and the train is already heavy. It might be a little bit unfair on her, but uh, I've left it on there for these purposes. And she is, hold on, I'll just get the reference number for you, but I'm sure you've all seen this one um, in the shops, uh, in your local model shop. And I'm pretty sure it's R R3103, but I'll just double check. Yes, the memory is still good. Um, R3103. So we'll see how she goes. Now, um, obviously using my uh, NCE uh, controller, uh, I can only take her up to step 28 as far as the uh, speed's concerned. And um, I'm not really expecting uh, anywhere near 126 miles an hour an hour in model speed that's for sure but we'll see how she does anyway and uh, I'll try and get a shot of her going away but it's a little bit difficult because my DCC controller is quite away from the locomotive so but anyway we'll see how we go and give her a shot this is the last one of part four DCC Speed run. <laughs> 